Yo, yo, I'm Drew Gilchrist and I'm currently in Bangkok in Thailand. It is crazy out here. And one of the main things that a lot of people have been asking me to go to and in general just to see, and to be honest, I've been asking the same question as well, is what is Cookies saying out here? Cookies were like one of the first major brands to go out here to Thailand as soon as they're legalized. But is it any good? And I've heard mixed reports. I've heard some people say that it's absolutely dead, not worth it. I've heard other people say that it's fire. I've heard some people say that it's all import. I've heard other people say that it's all local. And I'm here to actually settle this and to go there and let's have a look at what they actually have in cookies in Bangkok, Thailand. So I just pulled up to the cookie store and I really wasn't expecting the outside to look like this, to be honest. I don't really know what I was expecting, but I wasn't expecting it to look like this. I was expecting it to be a bit more like, you know, like cookies in America. But um, let's have a look and see if anything is any good in there. Yo, really quickly before we check out Cookies Thailand, we need to have a message from our sponsor of the day, The Flower Shop. Yo, The Flower Shop have a bunch of stuff that I know you guys are going to like over on their website. And if you use discount code Drew420, you get a free gram with your order. So check them out in the pinned comment down below. I think Cookies is upstairs. Aha. Uh -huh. Ah. Uh -huh. That's what we like to see. Okay, so walking in here, I was so impressed. It looks so nice. I mean, they have everything on show, you know, all the packs and everything that you would want to see walking into a cookie store. The one thing that did throw me a bit off is it is a little bit smaller than I was expecting. You can kind of see it in this video. It's quite a small little room inside of a building, right? But, you know, in general, everything was looking really, really nice, really, really clean. Uh, the way they show all the flower is actually on that little counter there. Uh, I can't obviously show you the flower in this video, but if you want to see all the flower it'll be in a youtube short the youtube short will be in the pinned comment down below so uh right i ended up copying a few things actually i saw some really really cool things on the menu uh they had some apples and bananas they had some ml kush milk they had a shabanga they had fish scale they had permanent marker uh, they had a lot of stuff that you would want to see on a cookies menu now i ended up going for four things myself it was the ml kush milk permanent marker fish scale gary payton um uh, uh, and then my girlfriend ended up getting the apples and bananas. That's the menu that you can see there as well. Um, so kind of reasonable prices for cookies. I mean, still pretty expensive, but I mean, hey, it's cookies, right? So just came out of cookies and I uh, guess I'll give my first initial impressions, my first thoughts, because wow, I'm really, really impressed especially from what a lot of people were telling me. A lot of people were telling me that it was all gonna be really dead. Um, a lot of people said it was all gonna be import and dead. A lot of people said it was gonna be local and dead. Uh, what it turned out is there was not a single bit of import. There was only local and they're trying to get it so that they have the cookie strains all locally and they had quite a lot. Look at this list of strains that they had. They had so many iconic strains. I wasn't expecting to see a sure banger, a permanent marker, um, a bunch that I just wasn't expecting at all. I don't know if any of them are actually any good. So I have to get back home, try them, see if they're good. And that's kind of the main thing in it, see if they're good. So um, yeah, let's get back. This is how all of them came and they came pre-packed. So you can't open them or nothing. Um, not sure what I think of that just yet, but We've got all of these permanent marker, fish scale, Kush milk, um, and Gary Payton. I think before I get home, I'm going to try this one. Woo! This smells good. This smells really good. I am so impressed with this right now. Wow. So I just got back to where I'm staying. God damn, this place is crazy. But. Yeah, this is the uh, the cookies. I did already try one of them. So the one I already tried uh, was something I'd never seen before. The one I'd already tried was this one. It was the ML Kush Milk Fire. Stupid fire. That was crazy. So I'm really excited to see what these other ones are saying. I've got uh, some fish scale. I got some Gary Payton and i got some permanent marker so i think what i'm gonna do is for tonight's kick stream i'm gonna try all of these and then i'll come back for the video after the stream and let you know if any of them were banging i mean that that ml kush what was it called ml kush milk oh my god that one was amazing i'm hoping that the others come up to that sort of quality 
I'm not really too sure. Uh, I mean, I didn't have too high hopes going into this and it's already been so much better than my expectations. Um, so yeah, let's hope and pray that these other ones are are also just as good. Uh, yeah, they weren't. So <laughs> I did end up trying the rest of them. Uh, if you saw the stream, you know what ended up happening, but essentially every single other one that I ended up trying was not good at all. Barely even sparked up. Really, really bad, actually. I was very, very disappointed, and it was a very disappointing stream. So the next day, I was like, well, I guess we have to go back to cookies and try a bit more, because that ML Kush milk was amazing. So maybe there's some other stuff that's like the ML Kush milk. We're back again. So the two I ended up getting was the Sherbanger and the Sherb Z. I figured Sherbanger because Sherbanger is such an iconic stream right now. Uh, you know, there's so many Cali Sherbangers, so many brands doing Sherbanger. And, you know, to get a nice Thai grown one would have been amazing, especially for a good price. Like, probably would have been some of the cheapest Sherbanger that I would have ever bought. But uh, it, none of it was any good. It didn't really hit properly. It didn't spark up. Same with all the other ones that I tried. The only thing that I really tried that was good was the ML Kush milk and the apples and bananas that my girlfriend actually got. So to be honest, after having a really, really good impression and getting kind of lucky on trying something good for the first thing I tried, I was actually really, really disappointed with everything that I tried afterwards. Now, I do understand they are a fairly new store. I mean, it only recently was allowed to be a thing in Thailand. And through that, I feel like they're still dialing everything in, especially where, you know, they're trying to have stuff on the menu like Permanent Marker and Sherbanger, which are relatively new strains. And I don't know. I don't know the reasons behind it. I probably shouldn't speculate on the reasons behind it. But for me, I found there was a lot of potential because they obviously have their heart in the right place in the sense of they actually had a fairly decent menu with lots of actual cookies, iconic strains that you would want to see. Um, the setup was how you would kind of want it to be, especially if you see the Thailand shops, it was kind of how you would imagine imagine a cookies in Thailand to be. Yeah, that's, I guess my main thoughts on it is that it had a lot of potential, but I don't really think it was fully hitting it just yet. Maybe in two years, once they've got like everything dialed in and they've got all of their, you know, setup going properly and everything comes out to the exact same quality as it is in Cali, um, then that would be great. And I do see that potentially happening, but right now it definitely isn't there. Remember, if you want to see the flower, there's a short link in the pinned comment down below. And if you want to check out the live stream later tonight, it'll be at 9pm on Kick. See you there.